Hey. The beat go off? Hey. Hey. I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. I heard he if I could get 10,570 likes, that'd be fire, man. But y'all be sure to like this video and turn on notifications so y'all don't miss a beat, man. So I already know that y'all are going crazy with the glitch. So I'm going to show you some clips of my boy who is going crazy in my career for one of the best shooting rep methods in the game. And y'all can use this shooting rep method to get like 40,000 points towards your badge. Now, you do got to be hooping. I mean, look at the points up there, man. 55 points in the first quarter going crazy. You need to shoot a lot of moving threes, a lot of difficult shots threes. You know what I'm saying? That's the way to pull up. A lot of dribble pull-ups. Just a lot of threes. No twos, no mid-ranges, nothing else but threes and moving shots. Maybe even some high twos. You know what I'm saying? Some, some deep twos if you step across the three-point line on accident. 112 points in the third quarter. 73% from the field if you are a shooter. You can do this with ease. Now, he does have the primary sharpshooting build. You know what I'm saying? So that does make it a little bit easier with plenty of badges. So if you have plenty of badges, you know what I'm saying? If you're playing like this, get some space, shoot, pull. This is pro difficulty. 130 points. Going crazy. 142 points in the third quarter. Y'all see these clips, man. It's gameplay. I got to show y'all, bro. I got to show y'all the way because I want y'all to get the most out of your badges. Now, look. At the end of this game right here, he showed me, bro. He showed us how much points, how many points, rather, he got towards his shooting badges in one game. One game right here, bro. So imagine you're doing the shooting, the, the badge glitch, the, the my points glitch, and you getting points like this. Nearly 40,000. That's like almost a whole badge right there in one game. Now, your settings, as far as they go, they need to be on pro. 12-minute quarters is what I would recommend. Pro 12-minute quarters. But he, even he was getting like 190 points on 5-minute quarters, if not more than that, bro. He was telling me. He seen me. I, I seen it. He showed me. You know what I'm saying? He was going absolutely crazy. Now, also, in this menu here, if you didn't already know, you could change your nickname as well. You could change your nickname. So I got some more clips for y'all, pretty much, man, to show y'all the type of shots y'all need to be out here shooting, taking. And give you all some tips for defense as well. Because you don't want your computer to have the ball all day. You want them to force the pass and shoot as quick as possible. So you can get the ball back and score and get as many shots as physically possible. You know, because the more shot attempts you put up, the more points you're going to have. The more progress you're going to get towards your back. Your steals. You need to play the passing lane. You need to rip the computer. It's that simple. Hold LT. Go to the ball side when the computer bringing the ball up the court and try to steal it. Shots. Make sure you set picks. Maybe if you're fast, you can outrun your computer. Run side, run to the side, run to the corner, in between the corner, and uh, maybe, you know, that, that spot right there, between the corner and the top of the key. You know, that little sweet spot right there. You get a lot of greens over there. A lot of greens. That's a good green spot. Fast breaks. You pull up. Three. Bang. Even if you can get an easy dunk, the moving shots and the limitless range threes are going to boost you up. It's going to boost your points towards the shooting badges. Now, the more efficient you are, the more points you will get. He was very e efficient. That's the major key. He, that was the major key. As you can see there, another green. Now, hopefully, y'all got a lot of badges because some of the badges that he used, flexible release, difficult shots, of course. Um, hot zone hunter. If you have hot zone, he has a lot of the important badges on Hall of Fame. Hot zone hunter is one of them that he uses. You know what I'm saying? Extended range is another one. You know those sharpshooter bills get 30 shooting badges, man. So, you know, they have it a little bit easier when it comes to making these shots because they have extra badges. Some of us only have around 20, 15, depending on the bill that you have. Now, if you have to get a lot of shooting badges, this is going to really help. But if you don't need as many, you know what I mean, you might not need to go as crazy per game. But if you need a lot of shooting badges, this is definitely going to help you out. Now, here... Sometimes my players just got to test the limits. Running straight back to shoot a fadeaway. That's a crazy shot if you think about it. If you ever see somebody in an NBA game run into the paint and then run straight out and shoot a fadeaway, that's crazy. That would be a crazy shot, especially if they hit it. Think about that, bro. Imagine somebody having a fast break dunk or something or driving to the lane. They just turn right back around and shoot a fadeaway three. That's a, that's a crazy shot, bro. If you can take those, then you're a certified hooper, bro. I don't know too many people that's doing that. But as you can see, man, those threes are going to add up. I'm just showing you these clips. 
So y'all can see how y'all should be out here taking shots. But y'all definitely need to be very, very efficient. The more efficient you are, the more it's going to pay out for you on pro difficulty. You know, Because you know if you play on a lower pro difficulty, you're not going to get the times bonus as if you play on a higher difficulty as All-Star, Superstar, Hall of Fame. So since you're not getting those bonuses, if you're more efficient, which is easier to be more efficient, it's easier to get more greens and easier to hit more whites on this difficulty as well. So you, you'll fare off a lot better. As you can see there, testing the limits again. Kind of a bad shot right there. But, you know what I'm saying, sometimes you got to see what 2K going to let you do. The most, they're going to let you get away with. And on this one, this year, they're not letting you get away with too much craziness. You know what I'm saying? You pretty much have to have a fire release and a good amount of space. You know, unless you have some of the certain badges, it's going to help you hit those shots. And as you can see there, boom, that's a three. Now, this is a very important clip right here as well because, you know, this is, gives you a good idea of how quickly you need to score. You need to score quickly as well, quick. Not only hit a, a lot of a majority of your shots and be efficient, but when you get the ball, you don't need to waste time. You need to come down court, shoot quickly. Don't waste too much shot clock on offense, and do not let the computer on defense waste too much shot clock. Try to get them to, to commit a turnover, or you may even want to play in a zone. So sometimes they'll get open shots and they'll shoot those. And on pro, the computer misses a lot of shots, so you'll get a lot of fast break opportunities. Just like this, boom, green release, three. It's cash. Scored off assist, fast break score, all that's going to help you out in your progress, man. Now, especially if y'all have a little, those incentives I was mentioning earlier, y'all get VC as well. Now, as you can see, fast break again, you know, don't waste time. Pull up, boom. That's nine quick points right there to, to end the quarter. You know what I'm saying? That's some. That if somebody did that in real life, they'd be going crazy. You know, that's at the end of the quarter. Oh, we get one more shot. Can we get one more shot off? I don't think that's going to count. But as y'all can see, it still went in. That would have been 12 points super quick right there, bro. If you are efficient like that, y'all can definitely drop like 50 points in a quarter, 100 points in a half, if y'all going crazy like that. Now, for the sake of the video, of course, this is only on five-minute quarters, bro. I'm not, I wasn't going to show y'all a clip of somebody playing 12-minute quarters going crazy the whole time because y'all going to get the point, bro, eventually, yo. I'm pretty sure y'all get the point right now, bro, but we're going to wrap this game up, of course. You know what I'm saying? We're going to finish, try to finish the game off, finish strong just so y'all can see. And if any of y'all got fire methods for shooting badges, man, y'all put them down below, man. Y'all got to help each other out, man. I'm trying to help y'all out, but, you know, we can all help each other out. I might learn something as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just because I post these videos and put y'all on the stuff doesn't mean it's not more I can learn to the game because there always could be something more. Now, screens are also very effective as well. If, so be sure to call a lot of screens if you know you need to be able to get open and you can't just pull up. But if you, like I said, if you're the primary sharpshooter build that's like got 30 shooting badges, bro, this should not be your problem for you at all. Now, even if you're a shot creator, offensive threat, and you have like an 80 overall three, maybe you have some boost on, maybe you have some solid badges, which y'all, a lot of y'all should have a lot of badges right now. But at the same time, I know that even doing the glitch, that's kind of a grind within itself. And that will go a whole lot faster if you're getting a ton of points towards your badges. Um, if you started off correctly, you know what I'm saying, with a good amount of points. If you started off getting 40,000, bro, you're going to be pretty much getting a badge every time you do it almost. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much close to a badge a game or every time you do the glitch. And trust me, this will save y'all a lot of time, especially while stuff in the park needs to be fixed, the speeds and all that, bro. So if y'all out there playing in the park right now, man, y'all getting destroyed. I know how some of the lineups is being cheesy. Y'all could be in my career getting y'all badges because when this gets patched, bro, People are going to be struggling to get badges. When they got to go into my career and play all those games, maybe in the park they can get some badges as well. But when you're going up, going up against somebody who already has all their badges, bro, you're going to have your hands full, bro. Because those badges really do give you an advantage. Of course, a lot of people went to the park the first day and they were missing shots. They didn't have no badges. Of course, they went out there the second day they was missing shots. They didn't have any badges, bro. Going out there with no badges is going out there naked. I told y'all this. You don't go out to the park naked because the badges boost the percentages and your attributes. They don't just help you. They make your player. You know what I'm saying? The badges make your player. You know what I'm saying? They are necessary. If you got a 90 overall, 85 overall with no badges, bro, and get somebody with badges, you're going to get torched most likely. You know what I'm saying? Unless they're just trash. And you know how 2K be sometimes when you got badges, but they give you the benefit of the doubt, bro. So the more badges you got, the more benefit of the doubts you're going to have out there. It's that simple. Now, I pretty much showed y'all some fire clips right there of all the shots you need to take. So, you're taking these type of shots, you're getting up enough attempts per game, you're going to ball out, you're going to go crazy. Now, I got more coming for y'all for sure, especially for the playmakers. You know, I'm going to show y'all how to get those on point. Those are easy. 
But anyways, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure that like button, hit that sub button, turn on notifications on. Until next time, man, Denski out.